Hello everybody, welcome to Awesome Rusty Bucket. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and drop a like on this video. I am trying to hit 100K on this channel by the end of the year, so your subscription would be much appreciated. My dog just made some weird fucking noises. Uh, if you are watching these videos frequently and you're already subscribed to my main channel, I see no reason why you wouldn't subscribe to this channel to get all the videos that come on here. This channel is for extra content for me to talk about whatever the hell I feel like talking about. And today, I feel like talking about Zion Williamson. As for why, well, I don't really know. It's just kind of on the top of my mind because Zion Williamson, to me, is one of the most perplexing cases uh, of, like, a player's hype just kind of disappearing. I obviously made a deep dive on the whole thing a while ago. Uh, the title was Zion Will Williamson, How Hype Dies. But, uh... He's definitely a clear-cut case of somebody who was like... Zion Williamson was the most hyped basketball player in my lifetime, or not in my lifetime, that I was a fan when I saw it happen. LeBron James was the most hyped player before being in the NBA in my lifetime, but he was drafted when I was three years old. Uh, Zion, though, definitely the number one spot. Right after that would be Andrew Wiggins, who was also pretty fucking hyped. But uh, Zion... In his second year, 27 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, shooting 61% from the field with an overall 65% true shooting percentage. He made the all-star team. He averaged 27 uh, points per game on what is the, the league average 27, so that'd be plus 8 true shooting. So 8% more efficient than the league average. 27 points per game in his second year at 20 years old. Like, I feel like if you would have said this about Zion, like when he was drafted, you would think Zion was like the most popular player in the sport, or at the very least up there. Like he would be, everybody's freaking out about Zion Williamson, and yet not really the case. Like the guy is not even far from being a scoring champion. And he doesn't get it. I mean, he's five points per game away from who won the scoring, scoring title, which was Steph Curry. But still, the point is, nearly 30 points per game on crazy good efficiency, along with seven rebounds, four assists. His playmaking took a big stride this year. Or I don't know if it took a big stride or does he had more opportunity because he obviously barely played in his rookie season. But definitely was more of a thing this year. And 61 games, so it's not like it's a small sample size out of 72, so only missed 11 games this year, and nobody's fucking talking about it. So that's kind of what inspired this video. Uh, Zion Williamson is somehow underrated as shit, which was like not something that I ever expected, but like he doesn't even seem like a big player amongst conversations around the league. Now a lot of this can be chalked up to the fact that the Pelicans are bad, a lot of it can be chalked up to the fact that it is just the Pelicans. But to me, it's kind of insane that no one fucking talks about Zion Williamson. He's just kind of irrelevant to the NBA discussion as a whole. He's not a name that's mentioned often. It's just abnormal to me. So that's, I mean, that's the point I was trying to make with this video. So I've kind of already done it. But I also wanted to talk about uh, the future of Zion as well as the Pelicans. I could very well end up making a video about this on my main channel at some point in this offseason. Because there's like uh, 50 ish days until the season starts so there's a lot of gaps to fill a lot of time that passes before um before the season has actually, is actually giving us content right now ben simmons is providing content but for the most part there's not that much to talk about but uh yeah so zion next year he was fully healthy this year the thing that also i believe pertains to why zion has been less hyped is that his high flying tendencies like him just getting crazy dunks or like there was a trailer for 2k that just came out that was he got a crazy weak side block that like reminded me of the one that he did against i think it was uh jarrett culver in college but like cr like jumped 45 inches in the air to block a shot uh, Zion has not been a leaper like that in the nba i don't know what his official vertical would rank is all i know is that 
Zion at Duke, which honestly, Zion at Duke might be the most I've seen a college basketball player play because I don't watch college basketball, typically speaking, but I was like, this guy is something else. So I probably watched four or five Duke games as a result. Uh, Zion was just a different athlete in the NBA versus what he was in college. And a lot of that is injury, but more so weight issues, I think is what it is, is kind of holding him down. Uh, but he's just not the same in terms of like leaping. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his vertical is pretty close to what it was in college, but he does not play as though that's the vertical that he has. Uh, he seems to be playing it safe. I think it's not even just like injury is in like, oh, injury has taken the wind out of his sails. Like I think, he can still jump just fine. I think he could probably replicate a lot of the crazy plays that he does. But if anything, I feel like he's playing it on the safe side in terms of his jumping and things like that, where he's not trying to do anything too crazy because the risk of injury is around the corner and he's trying to preserve his body. And it's kind of sad that we have to see that out of a 20-year-old player. But until Zion gets his weight down, the risk of injury is incredible like this has been talked about with zion even when he got drafted like the risk of being injured was massive with zion he just the pure idea of him as a player a 6 6 280 pound guy who jumps 45 inches in the air constantly like the risk is there there are anomalies with players who can be that weight around that height and jump like they did. Uh, LeBron, when he was in Miami, was obviously 6'9", which is a little bit taller, but he was also allegedly 280 pounds, though I will say he never appeared quite as bulky or, from being a little meaner, chunky as Zion Williamson did. But uh, players have played at that weight and been healthy uh, and played in that play style and been healthy. But in general, when you weigh as much as Zion weighs, your risk of injury if you're going to be doing incredibly athletic things is definitely higher. So it's almost as though Zion has muted his play style a little bit just for the sake of avoiding those potential injuries, which I understand and I think it's probably the right move, but just in terms of being hyped, he's definitely uh, not created as much highlight plays as he normally does and things like that and like not having a highlight play on Bleacher Report every other day will make a difference in terms of how popular you are or how relevant you are, how talked about you are. The other thing is the Pelicans. Uh, the Pelicans are weird because I could see a world where just one day, like, like I feel like the Pelicans are gonna go from, not necessarily this season, but I think there's just gonna be a season where, like I don't know that the Pelicans progress is going to be that progressive like i don't think it's going to be a gradual increase i feel like the pelicans are just going to be a really good team after being a really bad team and i don't know what gives me that impression there's just something about this team that feels like it's just going to boom one day and when that happens maybe zion will get some more relevancy but to me it's just very weird that zion was as hyped as he was and he has I'd say completely lived up to his expectations. The only area that you could say Zion is slightly disappointing in is defense. This defense. I don't know why I said it like defense. Defensively, he is not as good defensively as it was hoped that he would be. Uh, Zion, from what I understand as a prospect, was a good defensive player, but there was a reason to believe he could be an amazing one that he just hadn't really delivered on at the collegiate or high school level. And it was like, this is something that can be built upon. Zion is a terrible defender. He's just not good defensively whatsoever. And I would hope that that's something that can be hammered out to at the very least getting to the point of being a decent defender because I think not being good defensively is what's going to be holding him back from cracking into being one of the best players in the league one day, which I think a lot of people believe still he can be, and I certainly do. But, uh, like, especially because I think Zion will play a lot of small ball center in his career, which is not even, he's like tall, like short ball center, I guess, because he's not like, obviously he's a center's weight. But uh, yeah, like he, he, he being a center at times, a large percentage of times, I think he should be. Uh, and then just being a defensive problem, not ideal. Uh, and I think the potential of him defensively with his speed, his strength, his 
leaping ability, obviously. Like, there's so much defensive potential just in and of itself with Zion's body and what he brings to the table physically that it's a little bit frustrating that he's not good defensively. Uh, and he's not the only example of players like that. There's plenty of players that uh, have, like, the physical tools to be really good defensively. And then they're just not good defensively. Uh, one prospect coming to the league right now, and I don't know, this is just secondhand knowledge. This is from other people saying this. So if it's wrong, it's not my fault. Uh, or it's a little bit my fault for relaying it. But apparently Jonathan Kaminga is, like, not that great defensively. And when you look at him, like, his physical profile, it's like this guy has the body to be a multi-positional defender, and he's just apparently not that good defensively. I watched him in Summer League, but it, it didn't, and Summer League is not enough to really gauge someone's defensive talent. I thought he seemed fine in Summer League, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, so Zion slept on. Going into next year, I think he can get up to 30 points per game, and I'd hope the Pelicans will start winning some more. Uh, I mean, it's not as though they're lacking in talent. It's just the overall structure of the roster has been very wishy-washy and uh, not good coaching, terrible coaching. Uh, Stan Van Gundy was not good for this team. Uh, their overall offseason was not great. Like the, the Lonzo for, to Devontae Graham thing was not good, even though I think Devontae Graham is a fine player. Uh, definitely a downgrade, and the fact that uh, the Bulls got a first-round pick out of Larry Markkinen, but you couldn't get a first-round pick out of Lonzo is not a good look, I'd say. So, yeah, uh, the Pelicans are interesting next year. Zion is underrated. That was the video. Goodbye.